Howdy, and welcome back to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. Doing another Sunday morning Chesterfield Auto Parts yard walk. Let's uh, let's just kick it right on. So, in the for sale section, oh yeah, we're cooking. We got RX 300s. We got S80s. We got V70s. No warranties, but runs and drives. Apparently, it's a, uh, so six six cylinders of the same all-wheel drive, same engine, same kind of drivetrain as Cindy's. I'm sorry, no, it's not. It's a three liter, not a 3.2. A little body damage and whatnot, but it's alive. Check out this RX 300. Almost 190,000 miles of bad transmission two grand actually is in pretty good cosmetic condition matching tires uh, smells like a lexus in here you get all the books and and whatnot these are uh, pretty underrated little trucks that uh weren't really loved when they came out at all due to the styling and whatnot but have really uh morphed into into something especially if you see a clean used one um definitely an appealing truck and that's been there for a while needs latches and lights but like the uh the gx that was here a couple weeks ago not a lot of lexuses you see on the yard but let's uh let's dive in and see what is new because i do see a lot more a lot more new additions than uh the last time we were here Whew. this e-type's been picked over but i really want to check out this volvo little uh 960 960s are interesting i've had uh, i've had a couple last the rear wheel drive big bodied sedan volvos uh this one looks like it was hitting the front but a lot of these parts are pretty valuable um i've got a set of headlights that uh i haven't put on ebay yet but i've just had and i need to but a lot of this trim a lot of these trim pieces and whatnot are pretty um, desirable, especially the headlights. A lot of the European guys want to do conversions to the US spec headlights. So not, uh, not a bad grab, especially, you know, these seat controls, they are, uh, they are worth something, um, you know, little stuff. And these seats actually seem to be in pretty good condition. W140 looks like a, a 300. Pretty thoroughly picked through, but some, some, some decent stuff, I guess. I don't have anything uh, junkyard worthy right now, unless it's Jags and Land Rovers. Uh, I used to have, obviously, more cars that this stuff would be relevant to, unless it's for the van, but nothing really right now. Ooh, all-wheel drive, all-track, Previa. It's definitely worth something to somebody. Motor sits pretty much far back. It's an all-wheel drive sports van. Um, definitely seen better days. But a pretty, pretty cool concept, man. You got a solid rear end, you got an all-wheel drive system. Um, these came became cool, ironically, I guess, um, a few years ago when the overlanding thing started, people were finding more obscure vehicles, and this was definitely one on the list. So a W124, this looks like a 92 or 93, and the engine's removed. I wonder if it was a, uh, a 400. 165, oh, no motor or trans. I guess it never had the motor. Yeah, 4.2, so this was an eight cylinder. Someone probably pulled the motor and uh, and just ditched the body. Probably a, a good call. I don't know how much that type of motor's worth, but somebody wanted it. All right, here you go. <sighs> Always sad to see an E34, especially when it doesn't look like it's been completely trashed in here. What is it? 525i. 
kind of a bucket list car, like a 540 or a 530. E34, E34 M5 was always one of my favorite cars growing up. Um, probably one of the best looking BMWs. Oh look, it still has, still has all the original radio and stuff. That's interesting, that might be worth um, looking into, especially the computers and what, whatnot. This one has not been completely picked over yet, which is interesting. I feel like most of them don't last this long. This one seems to have a little aftermarket switch, maybe for radar, maybe for lights. Um, pretty interesting though. But this is clean. I might, I might have to grab this. All right, I'd call this a, su a success. This seems to be in pretty darn good condition as well with the radio. So I'm gonna take these home with me. Let's move on, another 140. And there's something interesting over there. Junkyard tip, you wanna carry your stuff around with you while you cruise or anything else, hide it back in another car. Come back for it. All right, here's another uh, 240. You know, I'm still always amazed when I see these here. Well, not this one, this one's pretty gross, but 150,000 miles is a baby. Usually people are pining for parts off these, tail lights, headlights, emblems, stuff like that, but this one seems pretty roached. I like the little, I like the color. I've never seen one in this color. Um, little mud flaps and everything, but definitely looks like it's been hanging out for a while. 220, too new, nothing of interest there. Little Pathfinder. I don't think there's any more uh, Rovers here, but I like to be surprised sometimes. Oh shoot, there is a, uh, a Sequoia. Wow, talk about stuff you don't see in a junkyard. And like most photos in the junkyard, there's nothing left of it. Well, there's a front diff if you want to see what that looks like, but Wow, you can see uh, what might have killed this. That's a shit ton of rust in the frame there. Wow. How to kill a Toyota. I mean, they strip this. <laughs> well, I wasn't even walking over for that. I was gonna more check out this little Tacoma, little V6, but she's also Pretty picked over. Little Saab 900S. Cool cloth interior. Big cloth interior fan. Manuel transmission. Fun little car. Someone's done some inspecting. Maybe it was a timing chain failure or something or whatnot. Panels didn't seem to be in too terrible condition. Not sure what killed this thing, but something did. Here's our uh, L322 from last time as it progressively gets uh, more picked over and picked over. Some cars, as soon as they hit, everything's gone and some some need a, a second. <laughs> now look, there's the front subframe. Wow. Someone got medieval. Another little Z car looks like a a project that never took off. Burgundy, 300ZX, you know, never really did anything for me. I heard they ride a little soft, um, but you know, it's rear wheel drive interesting. And still pretty cheap, honestly. Yep, there's the, here's the new drop. Let's see if there's anything interesting. Ooh, 178K. This looks like an S. What do you think, guys? Yeah, see the side skirts haven't, and ho, oh, those are S seats. Wow, and a manual transmission. Interesting. There is an S four in the junkyard. Oh, there's the there's the badge. Wow, we have entered the phase. where some things get scrapped, maybe totaled. Oop, that was gross. Probably, uh, it doesn't not look like a gunshot. <laughs> Interesting, wheels are gone, but you've got uh, you've got the brake caliper, it's got bilge jeans. We look like eBay rotors. 
but radio switch gear and all that stuff's still in there. <sighs> Looks like it could have been sitting since 18. I think it's a can't up. Oh, there it is. Oh, yep, there's the 4.2. Looks like uh, the uh, plugs are out. Probably do a compression test or something. Well, the whole dipstick's sitting here, so none of that's good news, but yep, S4 in the junkyard. Low rider 4Runner. Oh man, more crime vans. You know, they're really popping up these days. I guess all these Fords are uh, destined to go back in the back lot, but it's a nice bumper on this OBS. Looks like someone gave up on the motor. Pretty roached on the inside, but that looks like it's a manual transmission, so. Maybe it's fun shifty gauge, one of those are for. Furred, furred, furred. Oh. Huh. So I've wanted a split bench for my F250, but this isn't really it. It's not, it is the color that I need though, but the condition's not, I mean, it's not bad, honestly, but it's not, I don't know if it's what I want, but this will be here for a second. So maybe I'll close the windows a little bit, hopefully uh, preserve this a little better. Of course, this switch is thugged as well. Hmm. I can never remember what I need for my trucks. All right, so it wasn't my out, way out, but then I saw this, and I think this is pretty rare. This might even be rarer, in my opinion, than the S4 we saw. This is a Volkswagen Mark, what, two? GTI. Jetta. At the junkyard. The, uh, the red striping and fender flares really jumped out at me. And it is a manual transmission and it has the seats and it has everything. The steering wheel, man. It's got me thinking, this is an interesting car. I mean, it's disgusting, don't get me wrong. But to somebody, somebody wants once these bits. Man. All right, so there's more to this. This steering wheel is in good condition. Look at the mileage. Could that be real? Let's figure it out. Original radio. I mean, besides the fact this is like just roached. I mean, it's not. Oh man, the mileage could be correct. Let's, let's run the thing. All right, it's 130. It's 130,000 miles, but. You get the point. This is pretty interesting. Oh, there's the, let me look at that. It does have the front clip. Interesting. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and catch us on our next Sunday edition of Junkyard Walkthrough. Uh, if you like that one, check back and watch the other ones. A lot of those cars are still in the yard. I mean, if you're interested, go to Chesterfield Auto Com. You can search for full inventory and find parts they have in the yard. Thanks.